straight onto the press review for you now. It uh, sees us go back to one of our top stories, that uh, international aid workers killed by that Israeli drone strike. Leo McGuinn is joining us. Three of them, Leo, were British. So what's been the reaction uh, in the UK newspapers? Yeah, that news very much dominating the UK front pages this morning. The news that an Israeli drone strike killed seven international aid workers. As you say, three of them were British. This is the front of the mirror this morning, killed trying to feed starving kids. You can see the image of one of the cars, one of the three cars that was struck by the strikes. The Times have this, I outcry at aid worker deaths, photo of three of the workers on the front. Uh, Brit Jim Henderson, Australian Zombie Francom and Paul Delina Soboy, just three of the seven killed. The Telegraph lead with the fact uh, that British Prime Minister, UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has demanded answers over the airstrike. Their lead is the fact that Sunak has spoken to Israeli PM Benjamin Netanyahu. He said he's appalled by what happened and expects a thorough investigation. Let's move across to The Guardian. They report that charities have halted their Gazan missions following the death. Uh, this Guardian article speculates that this will lead to a worsening humanitarian situation. Aid ships organised by WCK arrived in Gaza on Monday carrying 400 tonnes of food and supplies, enough for one million meals, but only 100 tonnes of that was able to be distributed before the charity ordered the vessels carrying the remaining aid to return to Cyprus. That's the British reaction then, Leo. What about the Israeli one? How are the uh, strikes being reported there? Yeah, I'll start by showing you how Rhett, a rather left-leaning newspaper that have often been critical of Benjamin Netanyahu. They have the news on their front page. They published harrowing details of the strike, citing defence sources. According to the report, an Israeli drone fired three missiles, one after the other, hitting the armoured cars, which were clearly displayed with the charity's logo on them because of a suspicion that a militant was travelling with them, despite the fact that the suspect did not leave the warehouse with the rest of the group. The cars were hit as they travelled back along a route that was predetermined with the IDTF. Criticism for Haret isn't unusual, but what is unusual is Israel Hayom. Uh, it, they are a paper owned by a good friend of Benjamin Netanyahu. They've often been criticised for being a mouthpiece of the Israeli government. But they do have that news on the front page this morning. They describe it as an incident. They report on President Biden's preaching on Israel's obligation to protect humanitarians in Gaza. They also have a quote from Netanyahu. This happens in wartime, the PM says, adding that there will be a full investigation so as to avoid such incidents in the future. Well, after that, we need something a little bit lighter, don't we? There's going to be a, an historic invasion of sorts in the US this summer. What's this about, Leah? Yeah, an invasion indeed. As you can see from this New York Post article, an invasion of cicadas. Trillions of cicadas are going to come across 15 US state, yeah, states. Yeah, that's right, trillions. They're not harmful to humans, but they'll keep you up all night. You'll be able to hear them <laughs> as you try and sleep. It'll be the first time in 221 years that this event has happened. Last time it happened, Thomas Jefferson was president. The Independent had this piece on the critters. They call them nature's weirdos. I'll give you some facts about cicadas, Stuart. They're the strongest urinators in the animal <laughs> kingdom. <laughs> They're also being ravaged by a sexually transmitted disease that turns them into zombies and causes their private parts to fall off. I'm starting to feel a little bit sorry for them. And one researcher has described them as fat, lazy and slow. So I can I can emphasise a little bit with that. Oh, Leo, come on, come on, come on. That's that's very sad news about Cicada. You know, I'm used to them from the south of France. Yeah. You get a lot of them here. Not trillions, well. though. Not trillions, trillions, no. But they certainly do keep you awake at night. They are very noisy. Thanks very much, Leo McGuinn, uh, with the papers on France 24.